It's brew day again, it's another Friday. I'm not doing an all grain today. I have about three or four bottles left of my coffee stout version 3, so it's time to put on a coffee stout version 4. So it's not an all grain, it's this, which is the Cooper's original stout kit. I quite like this kit. Um, I always have one of these on hand. This is the last one, this is actually the last beer kit, the extract beer kit I have, so I might have to, uh, if I can get one cheap somewhere, I will. But yeah, so I'm going to do it now. So uh, the difference, let's see, the last time I did this, I put the coffee in after fermentation and then just before bottling. I'm going to do it slightly differently again because this, the, these coffee stouts are just about experimentation and see what works and see what doesn't work. And um, the last one turned out pretty good, yeah. Um, not quite as much coffee hit off it as I would have liked. And I'm talking more smell and not really the coffee bitterness and anything like that, so. T minus one day to brew day. So I thought I would prepare the grains on cold steeping for a coffee stout. Um, we've got 100 grams of coffee in here. That is the Brazilian sample. Ooh. In here then we've got about 500 grams of power jutes and another 100 grams of chocolate malt. Generally I tend to, I wouldn't normally steep the chocolate malt, but I'm going to try cold steeping it this time, in with the porridge. And I'm just wondering whether to do this separately, the coffee, or just to toss it in there. Looks like it's getting quite full in there. Um, but yeah, that's the plan, and then tomorrow is going to be brew day. It's the next day, so there is our cold steep oats and chocolate malt. It's smelling pretty roasty from here. Although that could be the coffee which is sitting beside it. That's the 100 grams of Brazilian Samba. Ole. Right there. So obviously there's our Cooper Stout. And then we've got these. These are just little food grade type barley malt extract. There's a shop I go to semi regularly and sell these like it's two pound each or something. So I just buy one then again anytime I'm in just in case I need it. So. I've worked my way up to two of them now, so they're going in. What else I'm putting in then is this little mixture here. So in here is 200 and 260 grams of maltodextrin. I've got a load of it upstairs and I want to get rid of it before it goes off. There is another 160 grams of, oh sorry, 210 grams of dextrose. I want to get rid of it as well and 210 grams of brown sugar, actually the Muscovado brown sugar, so that's the end of the pack. That's why I'm putting the dextrose in as well. I'd prefer to put it all as brown sugar, but you know, such is life. So we uh, we have our boil pot on the go here. It's waiting for the water to heat up. And the plan is then to, to put this in first and we'll get it dissolved. We'll put these in next, get them all dissolved down. We'll put this one here in. I'll strain this off and this will go in for a boil for maybe five, ten minutes. Then the kit will go in and then the coffee right to death. Okay, we're pretty much at the boil here. I have already added in the sugars right from the bowl just before it gets uh, boiling because they all stick together. It's not too bad, I just got it in so I didn't take any value of it. I kind of forgot. But yeah, we're nearly at the boil, so I think I'm going to put some of this stuff in. So rather than just adding um, water to the fermenter, what I've been doing is putting the cold water in through basically sparging the uh, the par jutes on the on the chocolate malt. So uh, I've done all the cold water, so I'm going to just finish it off with a bit of hot water. Mm. 
So coffee goes in next. Oh man. What's up? Let me put the lid on. Forget all about it. I'm a bit hungry. You're a bit hungry? I'm just giving you a load of chips. There's been a murder. The river's not blood. No, it's not blood. It's wart. Yeah, unfortunately, I was trying to rush everything and uh, a big pot and a little funnel. <laughs> Crime scene. There's the final wart there then. So that's 20 something liters, maybe. I don't really know what, but uh, that's all I'm going to do today. I didn't quite get as much footage as I would have liked, but. Um, yeah, the kids in there all kicking off as, as per normal. So, uh, well, I just have to make do with that. So, it's going to stay in the cube for the next day or two. I don't know, we'll see. I'll play it by ear. And, uh, yeah, but as far as today goes, that's it. As you can see, we've ended up with slightly more than what I had anticipated. We have 23 litres there in the big bucket, and we have another little 5 litre damage on, so there's maybe 4 litres in there, 4 and a bit. I'm just taking a gravity reading on it there, and it's about, I'm not going to show you, there's no point, it'll never focus, but it's about 1044. So it's not a complete disaster at all, by any means. If it ferments out, then it's going to be, you know, 4.5% maybe, so below five anyway. So yeah, it also means then I can do something different with this little damage on than I was gonna do to this. So it's say it's never it's never a problem getting more beer than anticipated. So yeah. Um also so the U this is pitched onto the USO five yeast cake. This one here I just used the Cooper's yeast. It came with the kit so may as well get rid of it. Okay we're just racking the coffee stout onto uh, the sugar solution getting ready for bottling you can see whether my bottles are ready what I put in this one along with the sugar solution is about three quarters of this bottle so this is camp chicory and coffee essence so if I have a look at the ingredients in the back it's sugar water chicory extra 25 percent and then four percent dried coffee so it's mainly chicory it does surprisingly taste of coffee and smell of coffee as well so I'm hoping that I'm gonna get a real coffee hit off this but without the without the hit of caffeine you know so I'm not gonna be claiming the walls there is also coffee in this uh, the hundred grams from the uh, from the Brazilian Samba Ole. so yeah we will uh, I suppose we'll come back with a tasting video very soon and here it is this is coffee stout version 4 it's um looks like it's quite carbonated. Um it's only been in the bottle like two weeks. Something like that, two and a half weeks. Um doesn't help this is a widgeted glass. So uh but yeah it's a nice big head on it. It's just black. It's actually it's kinda of black at the top and brown, kinda of dark brown at the bottom, so but yeah, so uh question is is it any more or less coffee than the last bit, last time? And the nose it's you know what? It is. It's actually I'm getting a little bit of coffee off it. A bit of roast coffee. A bit of chocolate as well. A bit of chocolate from that Cooper's kit. Yeah. Okay, well, let's give it a taste. Before it tasted extra, it came out as 4.5%. So the finishing gravity was 1014, I think it was. Um, so, I mean, it obviously would have been higher if I hadn't got so much wart. But um, I was kind of going for over 5% for this one. So um, 4.5, mm, I'm not sure what that's going to do to it. Um, 
thinking in my head already it's going to be a bit thin and watery but um, you know what, let's give it a go, cheers. Yeah, you get the fizz on the tongue from the bubbles. Definitely getting a bit of bit of coffee off that. It's quite a dry finish as well. But yeah, definitely tasting a bit of coffee off that. I think I've said in the last video I did of this. That Cooper's kits tend to taste like Cooper's kits, stout kits anyway. But this one is definitely not. Doesn't taste like the rest. Which um, I mean, I'm putting down to the just the coffee and the camp, especially at the one at the end. I mean, they all taste kind of sweet and chocolatey. Those Cooper's kits. But that's kind of it's not bitter like, but it's it's dry and it's something else in there like. not coffee or not chocolate sorry could be the chicory I don't know it is a bit thin I have to say it's not terrible like it's not it's not like drinking water but you know it's what if what if this had been five and a half percent something like that Bit thicker, but you know what? It's fine. It's perfectly acceptable. I could drink that okay. And at the end of the day, it's gonna be me drinking it. So if I'm happy, then everybody's happy. So yeah, no complaints. I think we're all going on. We're in the right. We're going along the right road. As far as the coffee goes to that camp. So, I mean, one of the options was to try and use some decaffeinated coffee as well as the camp. So, I think I might go in that direction the next time. If I do this again, I've always uh, been meaning to make a, an all grain stout. I haven't actually done one yet. Um, it's one of the few styles I haven't done. So, uh, it's on my list. So, I don't know what depends. If I can get one of these kits fairly cheap then I might go with that so we'll see I don't know but um, yeah so I've got a, another version of this so I've got the coffee stout version 5 there's going to be another video on that because um, I did something slightly different with it um, but yeah I'll maybe put that out next week or something but um, in the meantime yeah I think I'm fairly pleased with it you know it's not too bad at all I mean it could be better but you know what It'll do me. So, cheers. Happy Hungry Wednesday, everybody, and see you next week. Banana Crush.